There's a big stink. Here's the uh, pouch containing the liquid scent lure. There's a pump down in here. About this contraption that's helping scientists study carnivores. Every other day, this will turn on. The pump will engage. It's got one purpose, is to do that every other day. These photos of rarely seen animals, like this Canada lynx, and this fisher in Olympic National Park, were snapped thanks to automated scent dispensers the Woodland Park Zoo co-developed with Microsoft Research and Idaho Fish and Game. Married couple Robert Long and Paula McKay are carnivore specialists at the zoo. Their work includes carefully concocting the smelly formula at home. We kind of homebrew it, so we buy, we get the components, <laughs> and then we Want brew it in buckets. <laughs> then deploying the dispensers in the wilderness, also very carefully, the stuff inside truly stinks. It's a combination of odors, um, some of them quite strong, like the odor of skunk. What we wanted was a device that would allow the scent to pervade the atmosphere, the air, through the winter without having to go back in to these stations because some of the sites are very remote, inaccessible, there are avalanche dangers, etc. The scent attracts animals, and a motion sensor camera snaps photos. The lures stay up for a year. Then the researchers get to see what they've captured. Oh, yes, you never get over that. Especially exciting, these rare shots of wolverines. Paula studies them. In the early 1900s, they were extinct in Washington, but a small population has begun to recolonize in the North Cascades. When we started getting wolverines on these cameras, it just changed our whole way of coming at research. Science aside, these scent-sniffing critters are cute. And the impact this innovation will have on carnivore conservation doesn't stink at all. Really, this is all about the animals that we are trying to study and ultimately protect.